Well, thanks to vocal leaders like Susan Hyatt, the conversation's on the table about the gap women experience in wages and confidence and achievement. And Susan's here to really talk about that gap and what can be done, is being done to close it. Good to see you. It's good to see you too. Thanks for having me. Well, what research shows us is that by the age of eight years old, girls' confidence starts to decline by 30% compared to their male uh, counterparts. And so that increases in the teenage years. And what that results in in adulthood is obviously lower wages, not getting the promotions that you want, not go having the relationships that you want. And so it's not just like get more confidence. This has real implications. And what research also proves is that women earn white women to white men 82 cents to the man's dollar. It's 63 cents for black women. So we have to learn how to advocate for ourselves, gain and develop confidence so that we can close the wage gap. And, you know, there's, so, there's such a big issue and it is so, it loaded. It's mm -hmm. daunting to even, to even comprehend, first of all. But what are some steps that you recommend women take to step up some and take their own part. Right, so there's a few things. Number one is just awareness that this is a real thing and not just in your head, it's proven. Um, and documented. And so that awareness, I, I mean, I hope you get mad about it. And I hope you decide that you, number one, need to tell yourself different things. So instead of, oh, my boss will never give me that raise, the question needs to be, how could I get this raise? And then surround yourself with people who want to see you win. You know, the quote that says you're the sum of the people that you hang around, it's really true. So you want to make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people who are going to boost you up and challenge you to be your best self. And if you, okay, so let's say you're in a pretty toxic work environment <laughs> and, and you don't have that support. Right. Where do you begin that self-talk right. uh, th that says, okay, I don't have these people around me, but... Exactly. You can go online. Um, self-talk is, positive self-talk is absolutely developed. So the first step to that is eavesdropping on yourself and recognizing when you're telling yourself something that's toxic within you. And secondly, seeking out people, whether it's an online Facebook group or some sort of community where women are going for things, where achievement is celebrated, where um, being a woman who really wants more is rallied around. And, you know, there are are some simple things that you can do to just say to yourself in the morning like I may not have the answers but I'm gonna seek out books and resources and other people who are doing it and that helps too now I know you're working on a book on this very yes, topic yes yes so that we don't know when that's coming out <laughs> yet but right. but, but, but it, they can read your book bear which is still right. on them on the market Absolutely. and then on the bookshelf Absolutely. and can they follow you susan and maybe participate in some of your classes Absolutely they can follow me at susan hyatt um, there's an event happening here locally october 1st through the 3rd called finish strong where i'm training women on this topic so you can go to finishstrongevent.com and it's all about how to figure out what you want, how to get your mind right, how to go for it, and be surrounded by women who are wanting to do the same. Well, and one of the things that, you know, when one of these days you have to come back and share the story about where you came from to get here. Yes. And help people finish strong. It's been strong. a journey. It's been a journey. <laughs> Susan, thank you so much for thank being you. here. Thank you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you.